Common Core State Standards Math, 7th grade, Numbers Systems 1 through 3, Expressions and Equations 3, Numbers and Quantity 2C, Add, Subtract, Unlike Fractions. And fractions are rational numbers, and we need to be looking at unlike fractions, so the denominators are different. And um, this is quite a review, but what's new is we are adding the negative rules, so we need to pay, pay attention to that. So looking at the signs, they're both negative, so they're both the same signs. And you're going to, uh, so you're going to have to add them. Well, to add them, you have to get them in common denominators. So we have negative two-thirds minus one-half. And so we know that six is the common denominator, so we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that. Four, six. And here we have three times three, because one-half is um, three Six. Now we have common denominators, and so we are going to add. And when we add fractions, we have common denominators. We just add the numerators. So four plus uh, three is seven. Six. Add the numbers, add the digits, and add the sign. All right. And now we have to simplify it. So six goes into seven one time with a remainder one six, and it's negatory. So bring that down. Uh, so all fractions have to be simplified. You must check every answer. Thank you. Um, let's just go on to the, the next problem. And it's a word problem. And uh, it's, it says use the table to find the fraction of the total population that has type A or type B blood. And so they have a table here. And A, B, or O type blood, and this one here is the fraction. And we have O uh, is 11 twentieths, 20 fifths rather. Uh, if they have type A blood, it is 21 over 50. And if it's B blood, they have one tenth, so these are all different um, or unlike fractions. And if they have A, B blood type, it is one twenty-fifth. And they want to know um, what's the total population that has A or B blood. Okay, so we need to write that out. And that's what we're asking. So make sure you put this chart in. So it's either A or B. So we're looking at this and this. And we're looking at the fractions 21 50 um, Or would mean plus. They could either have A or B. So we're going to add 1 tenth. So to do that, uh, well, the common denominators would be 50 here. And that would be 21 50 50th. Look at the format coming down. And this would be multiplied times 5. And you, oops, and you get 5 over 50. So there are no negatives. So you don't need the negative rules. But it would be 26 50th are either A or B. But that is not simplified because we can take a we can take a 2 out of the numerator and 2 out of the denominator. Uh, so uh, if we do that, we get 13 25ths. Now, we still need to check that because you don't have 1 in the numerator. So does 2 go into both? Numerator and denominator? No. Does 3? No. Does 13 go evenly into 25? No. Uh, so uh, it's a common denominator, um, fraction rather. So it is uh, done. So the people who have A or B are 13 people out of 25. Thank you.